Hey guys, welcome back to Automation eLearn. In this video, I will explain how to create a new file directly on GitHub, where I will walk you through the step by step process and will explain the concepts. There are different options to have a new file. One of the options is to create a new file on the local and perform a commit and push operation to push the new file here on the GitHub repository. So the way we commit the changes from the local system, you can have a new file, you can add a content and uh, you can perform git add, git commit and git push. Then it will be part of GitHub repository. And another option is to create a new file directly here on the GitHub. So the first option we have discussed in previous videos, you can refer to my video on how to upload a project on GitHub to understand the complete process about this first option. In this video, we will discuss the second option and will understand how to create files directly on GitHub. Here I am on github.com. I already have an account, so I just need to sign in here. If you don't have a GitHub account yet, you can watch this video to understand the complete process where I have explained the step-by-step -step details to create a new GitHub account and its different uses. There are many benefits of having GitHub account and that is for free. So you can refer those videos and you can understand it in detail. So here I need to sign in. And uh, let's select one of the repository where I want to work, where I need to create a file. So let's select git reset. So this is the repository under my GitHub account. Once we open the repository here, we have a couple of options and uh, one of the option that we are seeing is add file. And uh, here we have two options, create new files and upload files. So in this video, we will explore how to create new files here. So we will select this option. Here we need to give a file name and we can add a content also to this particular file and we have other settings related to editor so you can explore as and when it is needed so here i need to give name let's say i want to create a file called sample.txt so just because i am creating a file so we need to give name and extension both and this i am working in master branch you can choose any other branch also ideally it should be one of the feature branch but for a demo purpose, let's consider I want to create sample.txt in master branch under git reset repository. So sample.txt is my file name and uh, here let's add some content. For example, I just want to list the numbers here. And from here only we can preview the content. So click on preview and we can see this. So like this, you can add a content to this file, this new file that we are creating. And if you scroll down here, we need to give a commit message because we are creating a new file, which means we are committing a file in the selected branch in the selected repository, right? So master is the branch and git reset is the repository. So here we are creating a new file with some content. It means we are adding something. So any kind of addition or deletion can be done via commit. So here we need to give a commit message. Let's say I am giving adding a new file. So this is my commit message. So this is my commit message and uh, here we have an option commit directly to the master branch, the current branch that I am currently working with and select this and click on this button commit new file. And here new file is created under my repository. If you notice here, we have a sample.txt file created successfully and we can open this file and we can take a look at the content that it has. So these are the lines that we have added while creating this file. So when we added this file sample.txt, it is like one commit. So we made one commit and this is the commit ID assigned to that particular changes. And this is the username I did with my account Suresh Dubey and this is the commit message. So each and every detail whatever we have given we can verify and we can see it here. 
Likewise, you can create as many files you want. This option is little bit faster compared to the other option like having a new file here offline in your project. Let's say test is my project and here if I'll add m2.txt then I need to perform git add, git commit and git push. Directly having a file on github is faster. If you want to add a small file then, then definitely you can do it from here directly from the github but if it is complex file then it is advisable to do it offline and verify and then only commit it to github. So guys these were the steps to create a new file on github. That's all for this video. Let me know if you have any questions or doubts. Please subscribe to the channel to learn many other concepts and topics. Thank you for running this one. Thank you.